Now, what's going on with you today? Hope you're doing good today, my friend. Hope you're staying blessed out there. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I appreciate you for that. Today, I want to have a little conversation about a story that's kind of been going a little viral. A lot of y'all might have already heard about this one, but it involves a rapper by the name of Lil Boom. Lil Boom, for anyone who's not familiar with the name, is a rapper from Tallahassee, Florida, who started getting a lot of attention on the internet a few years back for a couple songs that ended up going viral on the internet. Ever since then, he's kind of been known as a meme slash internet rapper who's been recognized in certain spaces of the internet. Aside from that, he's also heavily recognized from his affiliation with DJ Academics. Recently, a story came to the surface involving rapper Lil Boom. So, let's talk about that. On September 19, 2021, the police responded to a call from a Walmart located at 2600 Southwest 19th Avenue Road in Ocala, Florida. The call in question was in reference to a battery. More specifically, there was a man inside that Walmart who was seen taking photos and touching minors very inappropriately. That man was rapper Lil Boom. This was all caught on surveillance footage. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. Okay, like, pause yeah, it. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I just want to write it down so whenever I write my report. Um, he approaches over, is that, what is that, the tomato, potato? Okay, whatever. Um, approach the pretty stand. Children, picking stuff out. The police eventually ended up arriving to that Walmart in Ocala, Florida, and upon arrival, made contact with a man who stated that his daughters were inappropriately touched. The police then made contact with his daughters, one of them 10 years old and the other one 17 years old, who stated that as they were in the produce section with the rest of their family nearby, a man in his 20s ended up approaching them and touched one of their butts with a grab in motion. The man then continued to the other minor and ended up touching her as well and continued to walk away. The police then made contact with a witness who stated that as he was shopping in the produce section, he witnessed a young male touching a young female in her buttocks. This young female was one of the minors in question. The suspect was described as a tall black male between 20 and 30 years old with an afro style hair, wearing a long sleeve blue shirt, red pajama pants, and a surgical mask. Officers made contact with the victim's father, who advised that both of his daughters were inappropriately touched. After further investigation, they observed him exiting the parking lot in a red sedan. The victim was able to recognize the suspects from Twitter and Instagram as a known rapper. Okay. Recording. Okay. So, um, so you know you are going to be placed under arrest. Okay, so I'm not going to put the handcuffs in the back, so I'll just put them in the front. So just put your hands together like you're praying. Perfect. Hey. Sure. Yeah, I actually need that phone. Uh, it's the blue one. With the case on it. Perfect. Is that too tight? That actually is that too tight? It's the one with the uh with the with the rabbit on it. That's my phone. All right. Yeah, that one. That that one. That one. That's the one. Yeah. All right. Go ahead yeah. and here. No, 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 don't worry about it. I'll call you. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're taking us away. Yeah, I have to take the phone. So come over here and go ahead and take a seat in my car. You don't have anything on you, do you? Okay, I'm going to start you real quick. Just put your hands up here. Perfect. The police then made contact with Walmart's loss prevention team, who allowed the officers to view the surveillance footage. They then observed a red sedan with black rims entering the parking lot and parking. A black man fitting the exact description exited the vehicle and then entered the general merchandise entrance. That person was rapper Lil Boom. Lil Boom was observed 
walking around the produce section on the surveillance footage. At this time, the two miners are standing at the produce display, selecting items. The two young girls then end up walking towards their mother who is in the grocery store with them as well. Lo Boom then sees this and tries to get closer to them. As they are crossing paths, he walks towards one of the young females and proceeds to touch her butt In another encounter inside the Walmart, around the same time, Lil Boom is seen following an unknown female wearing a brown shirt and brown pants. He's then seen in the surveillance footage touching the female in the buttocks area, but she does not react. After a couple seconds, the woman then walks around a few steps and Lil Boom decides to touch her again. And this is when the young woman turns around and stares at Lil Boom. The police was not able to identify this victim. Later on in the footage, Lil Boom is seen continuing throughout the grocery area and eventually walks to the cosmetic department at approximately 4.53. In this area, there's a Hispanic female, possibly younger, wearing a white shirt jeans, brown sandals, and has long, dark brown hair. The young female is standing, looking at something on display, and Lil Boom decides to walk behind her and intentionally brushes up against her, very close from behind. Lil Boom is then seen hovering around the area and walks back to her several times without the female noticing. As the young woman bends down to look at something on a shelf, Lil Boom decides to pull out his cell phone and decides to take a bunch of photos from underneath the female as she's bent over. This continues on for quite some time as Lil Boom is very persistently taking photos of this young woman. Lil Boom then continues and decides to hover around the area and take several snapshots of the young female's buttocks. As this behavior from Lil Boom is continuously exhibited, a good Samaritan spots this behavior and comes into the equation. An older Hispanic female wearing a gray shirt, knee length jean skirt, and black sandals decides to approach the younger female and moves the cart to behind the female preventing Lil Boom from taking more photos of her. Even after being caught in the act, that still did not demoralize Lil Boom from continuing with his strange activities as he still continues and decides to hover around the female and tries to take even more photos. The young female finally walks away from the cosmetic department and so does Lil Boom himself. Lil Boom was facing two counts of battery in his case and in the end decided to plead no contest. He was found guilty in his case and couldn't be around minors for a period of time. He was also on probation for a period of time. So, 
quite a story, isn't it? Now, the aftermath of this entire story was kind of interesting because, you know, I was following this entire thing as it was developing. And Lil Boom, when this story came to the surface, was saying a lot of things that just didn't really make any sense. He was saying that he went to this Walmart to buy some fish. And in the footage, he's not seen buying anything at all. He also said that he was never in the cosmetics department, which he clearly was, judging from that footage of the girl who was bent over. And I also found out that the reason why this entire thing even came to the surface is because Lil Boom allegedly doxed a woman and her children. And so that woman, I'm not sure who she is, but she decided to get payback by highlighting this particular story involving Lil Boom and Walmart. Now, as for the footage though, like it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on here. Lil Boom is being an absolute creep and I don't know really what prompted him to do this. But then again, why do people do bad things in the first place? Well because they got it inside their bones. The craziest part of this footage to me is specifically the cosmetic department one because here you see Lil Boom clearly taking pictures of this young woman's butt and it's not something that he does one time. First of all, he does it in a very calculated fashion. I mean, he waits for her to turn around, he bends down and then he points the camera at her butt, snaps a couple photos and then before that he like rubs up against her intentionally on purpose. But it's even crazier how, you know, this woman, the good Samaritan, she spots this going down and she tries to stop him by putting the cart between him and the woman and Lil Boom still continues to try to take photos like clearly the man didn't go there to buy a fish he went in there to do something else this to me is like god damn bro you're trying to take photos of a woman a young girl who's bent over in public with cameras with people around this footage just tells us everything we need to know man and then we had you know the other footage in the produce section where he's like following these two young girls around and then ends up smacking one of the girl's butts as he's walking by and then the girl in brown who initially doesn't notice Lil Boom but as he circles back around and yet again touches her she looks at him and then that's when he starts to walk away. I just think it's crazy how he was so comfortable doing this in public. If someone is comfortable doing something like this in public I cannot even imagine what they're comfortable doing in private and it's one thing if that person gets caught in the act and then they stop even though it's equally as disgusting and perverted here we have a situation where the person got caught by another person in the store and they still continued with what they were doing for Lil boom i think he definitely needs to take a hard look at himself in the mirror these are not the actions of a normal human being and the fact that he was on that stream with dj academics trying to gaslight academics into thinking that all this stuff was not even remotely real to me that highlights someone who's definitely very disconnected from their actions and i think personally when it comes to something like this that's an issue because it'd be one thing if he as soon as this came to the surface he ended up owning up to it obviously it doesn't make his actions any better but that would show that he has some kind of self-awareness or if he didn't say anything at all but for him to be on that stream with dj academics his friend and not recognize the severity of his actions inside that walmart in ocala i don't know about you but i think that's a very very big problem so Lil boom definitely needs to take a hard look at himself in the mirror because these are the actions of a very sick individual who definitely needs help and i think it's pretty sad that these uh, little girls in in this video were the victims of something they probably themselves don't really understand anyway there you have the video if you made it this far i would appreciate a like that aside what you guys think about this story Lil boom and the walmart incident i'm sure you might have a thing or two to say about this curious to hear what you have to say catch you in the comment section below but most importantly of all i'll catch you on the next one peace i'm out